Manchester United 3, Brentford 0. Um, last game at Old Trafford this year. I know you've come all the way from California, so I'm pleased for you on a personal that, you know, Ronaldo scored for you and we got a clean sheet and a win. We haven't seen too much of that at Old Trafford, as you know. Yeah. Um, sum up the game and sum up the season. Uh, it was a bit weird because this is my first ever game at Old Trafford and uh, it, was a, it was a weird atmosphere, man. Like, I could see the fans wanted to get behind the players, but at the same time, like, we have a standard to uphold. And we don't want to get into that territory of abandoning that standard, you know, just to back the players. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of creates maybe like a false positive environment because what we're about, you know, what we've seen in the past, we need to hold the standard. Like, I, I know it's been bad over the past few seasons and, um, you know, maybe that's why the standards have been lowered by the coaches and the players coming in. But we need to go back to having those standards. And I feel like Ten Hag is going to come in Give him a couple of years, and I feel like I don't know. I see something in him that he's gonna he's gonna be strict. You know, there's gonna be a standard, but he has to be given the resources. Like he can't just come in and you know the, the players are the same, same uh, uh, board. You know, it's like he he has to be given the resources. Okay, here you're gonna get you these profiles. You're gonna have decisions and transfers. He has to be given the resources to be to be able to get rid of players. Not okay. Let's keep Rashford because he's a he's a fan favorite, or let's keep Maguire because he's you know he has to be given the the resources and the ability to make decisions. Mm. That's what I feel like. But this season, man, let's brush it under under the carpet. You have to just act like it never happened, yeah, don't yeah, you? Exactly. Honestly, it was, it's that bad. The best thing was that Ronaldo came back, dude. You know what? Tonight, I wanted to see a Ronaldo goal. I've been growing up watching Ronaldo at 4 a.m. every morning, all the way from California since 2006, 2005. And him coming back was one of the happiest moments of my life. Mm. And tonight, when he scored, dude, I couldn't believe it was real, man. Mm. Like, like just being here, surreal, surreal feel. It's, it's, it's really interesting you say that because sometimes I can take it for granted. You know, a lot of the match-going fans here who get to come every week. Yeah. And sometimes you have to take a step back. And you just made me, rem be, you know, kind of remember that. I've, you know, I've know I've witnessed him the first time round. If you yeah. do take it for granted, witnessing greatness, exactly. we are literally yeah, yeah. witnessing greatness. I, I mean, the greatest, yeah. in my opinion. You know, you don't witness that that longevity that a player has at that level. It's like, bro, he can't be playing Europa League next season. I'm sorry, dude. He, do you see the way he played today? Mm -hmm. Like, you see this Good. stuff on TV. You're like, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. You see it in person. He's putting up like flicks and and like pat. Dude, I'm Still like, dude, he blew me away, mm -hmm. and I was like. You know, he still has something in him. He's, he still has something to give. And as you were saying, like, you guys, you know, you go every week, so you're kind of used to this stuff. But, you know, seeing it in person, the stadium is way bigger in person yeah, than it is. it is on TV, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. But we need, we need to keep Ronaldo. Do you think we're, sure. I was just about to say, you said we need to keep him. Do you think that he will accept it? Like, do you think, I know we're probably going to be in Europa League, hopefully not Conference League, but obviously not Champions League. <laughs> Does Ronaldo say, this ain't for me, I can't be in that league? Or does he say, I've got one more year, there's a new manager coming in, um, what are my options? Yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah. Do you, how do you, what, what do you think he will be thinking? He'll be thinking like, okay, let me see what this project is, you know? Because, I mean, yeah, you know, we're not in the Champions League, but we might, you know, I'm not saying Ten is going to be challenging for the league the first season, but you never know what could happen, you know? Maybe yeah. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, mm. you know, we're in some competitions that, you know, you could, because... He, I, in the beginning when he signed, he said, I promise we're going to rewrite history, you know? So he kind of made the promise to the fans, you know? So you can't just leave on this note, I feel mm -hmm. like. So I feel like, you know, on a sentimental basis and kind of like, because we have Ten Hag coming in, there's going to be a new project. Maybe you should give it a chance for one more year. I don't, I don't see much better options right now, maybe. I don't know, but mm. I feel like maybe you should give it a chance one more year, yeah. Okay, and who's been your player of the season and why? Oh, uh, for sure, oh, say Ronaldo, man. He's pulled this out of <laughs> pulled this out of the gutter. Ronaldo so showed up. He had a rough period between January and I think March. Really that was yeah. the worst of his career. Yeah, it was like yeah. over eight games without scoring. <laughs> yeah, Imagine yeah. that. Yeah, dude, he just didn't look himself. Like he was, like I'm sorry, I'm I'm a huge Ronaldo fan, but he was terrible, dude. He, like his touches were horrible. Yeah. But that's the mentality thing. He came back. And you just showed everybody, okay, I'm, I'm still like fucking Ronaldo. I'm sorry mm -hmm. for swearing, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, definitely Ronaldo, man. A lot of these players, we need just a, a revamp. None of this uh, sentimental fan relationships, because a lot of these players haven't even done much. What has Rashford done? You know, when is the Europa League? Okay. And he's acting like he's some sort of fucking savior, you know? You know, it's like, dude, he, you haven't done much. Like, mm -hmm. according to the United standard, there's much bigger United legends than you. Why are our fans so attached to him? I understand maybe you grew up here, he's, he's stuff like that, but dude, we still have a standard, you know? Mm -hmm. He's not young anymore. He's what would you do with Rashford in the summer? Would you get hold of him? Would you, if you're Ten Hag, would you say, listen, 
get grounded, here's the new way of playing, this is what I want from you, I'm going to give you a chance, or would you move him on, would you loan him out, would you just sell him, what, what would you do? Rashford would be a good impact player, I feel like. Maybe, it may be an impact player, but starting, like just give, be, as the other guy said, being given positions, you know, just being given a starting 11 based on a clause on his contract, you know, he has to earn a spot. I feel like, and he could be a good bench player for us next season, but definitely Ten Hag needs to be given the resources to be ruthless next season, and we could see ourselves gradually progressing over the coming seasons back to where we deserve to be. Bro, safe trip back to Cali, my friend. Love, bro. Thank you, nice one. Thank you, appreciate that.